oil prices soar as Trump talks up huge production cuts, and Saudi Arabia calls for OPEC meeting. New York hopes are building for a truce in the brutal oil price war between Saudi Arabia and Russia. President Donald Trump suggested massive production cuts could be on the way, and Saudi Arabia called for an urgent meeting between OPEC Russia and other unnamed nations to restore balance to the oil market. Even though no date has been set for such a meeting and no deal on cutting production has yet been announced the oil market celebrated wildly. U.S. oil prices soared as much as 35 percent to $27.39 a barrel after Trump said on Twitter that he hopes and expects Saudi Arabia and Russia will slash output by between 10 million and 15 million barrels per day. His tweet followed a call with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. If it happens, will be great for the oil and gas industry. The U.S. president tweeted. Saudi Arabia and Russia have been locked in an epic price war since early March flooding the oil market with cheap crude, just as demand craters because of the coronavirus pandemic. Crude has crashed to 18-year lows, crushing American oil companies and energy stocks. Trump also tweeted that bin Salman had spoken with Russian President Vladimir Putin. However, the Kremlin denied such a phone call had taken place, news that took some of the heat out of the huge spike in oil prices. They remain about 20 percent up on the day. A truce between Saudi Arabia and Russia would aid an oil market that analysts estimate is oversupplied by around 25 million barrels per day. Demand for transport fuels in particular has been decimated by travel restrictions aimed at containing the pandemic. Completely unrealistic the official Saudi press agency said in a tweet Thursday that the kingdom is seeking a meeting for members of the OPEC Plus alliance, which includes Russia and another group of countries, in an attempt to try to reach a fair solution to restore the desired balance of the oil markets. It's not clear who would be part of that additional group of countries. The tweet said the invitation is part of Saudi Arabia's efforts to support the global economy and an appreciation of the U.S. president's request and the U.S. friend's request. Analysts expressed skepticism that Saudi Arabia and Russia would suddenly reverse course and slash production by nearly as much as Trump suggested. This is a completely unrealistic expectation, said Matt Smith, director of commodity research at Clipperdata. Smith pointed out that even the low end of Trump's touted production cuts, 10 million barrels, amounts to virtually all of Saudi Arabia's output. From a logic standpoint, from a political standpoint, it doesn't make any sense, he said. Big cuts by Russia would undermine its goal of drowning high-cost U.S. shale producers in a sea of cheap oil. The recent crash in oil prices to $20 a barrel will likely set off a wave of bankruptcies and job cuts in the U.S. oil industry, including in many Republican-leaning states. Demand, not supply, is the number one problem production cuts by Russia and Saudi Arabia would ease a great deal of pressure in the oil market. However, the primary cause of the oil crash is weak demand, not excess supply. The extreme restrictions imposed to fight the coronavirus pandemic have caused an unprecedented collapse in oil demand. Highways are empty. Passenger jets have been parked. And factories are not operating. U.S. gasoline demand, the number one swing factor for global oil demand, is plunging because most Americans have been forced to work from home. Is market estimates that U.S. gasoline demand could collapse by more than 50 percent during the coronavirus response period. That would easily surpass the demand loss during the Great Recession. All of this means that even if there is a truce between Saudi Arabia and Russia, prices may remain under pressure. John Devterios contributed to this article. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.